today we're looking at how to deal with or how to cope with toxic people toxic people how to deal with toxic people or how you can handle toxic people so counselor i want to start with, with the question when we say uh, a toxic person or someone is toxic who, who who is this person all right so to start with um a toxic person is anyone mm. whose behavior action or thoughts acts negatively mm. and upsets you okay okay a person mm -hmm. whose behavior action mm -hmm. okay acts negatively okay or upsets you <laughs> all so, right so if you want to identify a toxic person mm. then it should be someone whose behavior okay, okay negatively or upsets you okay. negatively as upsets you um the person's behavior gives you a negative feeling okay, okay. all right then you should know that you are hanging around a person with toxic behavior okay all right and you know hanging around such people will mean you may not be able to do too much for yourself all right yes so uh, they, they are energy suckers i'm telling you <laughs> i'm telling you they will abuse you they will use you and mm. if you are not careful mm. like i said you won't be able to do much for yourself, for yourself. Because it's all about them. Okay. It's all about them. All these things that you are telling me, in fact, are negative. So it means we need to find a way to either deal with, cope with, or cut away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, th there's no way we can cut away. Like, we, we can avoid them completely. Okay. But there's a way we can deal with them or cope with them or live with them okay yes because um toxic people sometimes behave in a way that they themselves are not aware all right that in fact they are toxic their actions are negatively affecting you okay. their actions are having negative effect or impact on you so we we can't avoid them okay we can't shun them <laughs> yeah and also you know some some people to it's just their personality okay. yes it's, it's part of their personality they may have a, a, a kind of personality disorder okay that affect people who hang around them you know so it's important for us to actually look at it carefully the word toxic in itself you know is a scientific word if you're a science student and you know yeah. you, you 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 see a substance that is written toxic then mm -hmm. you should know that this substance mm -hmm. or this chemical may be poisonous or mm -hmm. it can be harmful okay. you know so if you your attitude is described to be toxic <laughs> Mm. then you need to work on yourself all right you need to work on yourself if you're a husband and you have a toxic attitude a wife you have a toxic attitude a pastor you have a toxic attitude teacher yes. you have a toxic attitude just just imagine how you negatively affect people around you okay. so you need to be mindful Mm. about your behavior about your perception and how you judge people okay. because toxic people are also judgmental okay. i think when, when when i need to break it down i need to break it down to know if you are dealing with a toxic person to okay. know if you are hanging around a toxic person okay one you may feel manipulated uh, all right yes you feel manipulated all the time they want to have their way <laughs> yeah they want to have their way they won't add 
to you. Okay. What you have, they will do everything possible to get it. Okay. Sometimes they, 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 they you go with them to a place, probably for shopping. Mm -hmm. They will not buy, but they will find a way of getting you buy those things. So when you get home, you share. You share. <laughs> you know, they praise, oh, okay. they praise the thing. They give all the nice comments about the thing. You know, it's mm. it's manipulation. It's manipulation. Mm. So you get home and then they are like, oh, but I was the one who, you know. Yeah, who who asked you to buy? You know, they also have money in their pocket and can buy the same thing. Exactly. So, <laughs> so yeah. your, your, your wife can't even manipulate you. <laughs> that, that is a great deal. Yeah. Because, <laughs> because sometimes, you see all these things we, we're saying, some, some people do it without knowing. Yes. And some people, others do it intentional. Exactly. Well calculated. Yes. I need this bottle, yeah. but I don't want to release. Yeah. So why don't I push Kojo mm -hmm. to buy and and have a share of it uh -huh. and sometimes they want the better part of it i'm telling you <laughs> so they in fact they will give you all the reasons why they will need it okay. after you have you know bought it mm. after you've used your money money to buy to buy it hmm. you all know right. and 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 even in the church in our churches pastors are manipulating us uh. Choir leaders are manipulating us. <laughs> Youth pastors are manipulating us. Like, <laughs> you see, when people have toxic behavior and they find that they find themselves in leadership position, in fact, if care is not taken, all their subordinate becomes their uh, um, um, slaves mm. because they will manipulate them to to achieve their goals. Mm. And will not praise them for the for, 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 for the achievements. Okay, all right. So and if you are hanging around uh, 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 someone with a toxic behavior, and you are being manipulated, mm. then you should know that you you, you don't really mm. have. Means you are in for big trouble. I'm telling you. You don't have your freedom. You don't have your way around. No. You always do what they think or feel is right. Exactly, because they 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 they, they will simply judge your action. Mm. They will tell you twenty three reasons why this action of yours mm. is not good. So <laughs> all the time you are their messes. Uh, all the time you want to please them. All the time you want to do things right before them. Meanwhile, you are human. <laughs> you have flaws. <laughs> it's aside everything they are judgmental to. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh God. Then you also feel control. Mm. That is number two. Okay. When you are hanging around toxic people, mm. they control your life. Oh. They control your movement. Mm. Where are you? When are you coming? You said you will come. Why didn't you come? I am waiting. I'm keeping too long. I can't wait for long. <laughs> you understand? So if you're in a relationship with such a person, mm. then you should know that that person is toxic. Sure. You have to give all the reasons why you couldn't get there early. You couldn't meet him early. You couldn't meet her early. Mm. Mm. I, I I wish Alexis um, watching this particular episode. <laughs> I, I, Alex told me that you know th there's one question that I I I don't like answering. Okay. Where are you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't like when you call him and you're like, where are you? Well, next. <laughs> you know it, it, it's it's not too comfortable answering w where yeah, you where are exactly especially if if you are not too accountable to the person to the person yeah you understand yeah. 
a, a question like um you know for forgive me if you are driving and you meet a policeman and the policeman is like where are you heading to <laughs> Meanwhile, you are driving to a place, you set off and you know where you are where going to. Yeah. 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 For what security reasons? Mm. And that is what people who find themselves in toxic relationship mm. find themselves in. <laughs> you know? Because all the time your partner wants to, you know, checking up on you. Yes, it's fine. But when it becomes consistent, where are you? What are you what doing? Are you doing? Uh, yeah. What time are you coming? When are you coming? Uh, you said you will come. Why didn't you come? In fact, you, you should know that that relationship, eh, the flags yeah. <laughs> surpasses red. <laughs> if there's any, any other serious color uh, apart from red. Apart from red. <laughs> You understand? Yeah. So, it, it, you should know who you are relating with. Okay. Whether the person is positively impacting you or negatively impacting you. Mm. Number three. You have a negative, I mean, you have a negative imp impression about yourself. Mm. That is what they make you feel. You know, they, they make you feel non important. I'm telling you, low self esteem. Low self esteem. You, you always feel timid when, when they are around or when you are around them. You don't feel like being yourself. You can't speak out. You can't speak out. You always have this negative feeling about yourself. Mm -hmm. Even what I'm going to say, cry. I don't to you this. know. So if, if your guy is someone who makes you have such a negative feeling, that negative impression about yourself, mm. and you are a lady, you <laughs> need to watch out. <laughs> you need to watch out because if it's going to end in marriage mm. and you have that low self-esteem, mm. you can't speak out. You can't speak up. You can't, you know, express yourself. You can't give your view about issues. Then you should know that, uh, <laughs> you know. And, and, and if you're a guy and you also feel intimidated in the presence of that lady mm. because of her behavior, then you should know you are heading into danger. Very toxic. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> because uh, almost whatever you say, they will have to correct you. Mm -hmm. They will find reasons why you shouldn't say it like that. You, like your contributions are not that important. Mm. Like your contribution is even not needed. Then you should know that that person, it's very toxic. I'm telling you, will <laughs> harm you in the process mm. of life. Wow. Then the last one, you feel guilty for <laughs> saying no when they make a demand or an offer. Mm. You can't just say no in front of in them. Front of them. You always want to please them. No, 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 no. You can't be your boyfriend pleaser or your 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 your, 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 your girlfriend pleaser. No. So you find it difficult to say no. Sometimes they bring the the there are people who come to your office and because of the way they relate with you. Mm. Sometimes they, they, they tip you. I nearly said bribe, <laughs> but I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Sure. Like they, 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 they always make you feel good. Mm. So even when they are making a demand and you, you want to say no, no. Mm. you find it difficult. Yeah. Then you should know that 
that that person's offer, you know, that person's kind gesture mm. has eaten into you that you cannot even make a quality decision for yourself. Wow. And that is toxic. So you need to identify those things, those behaviors, those gestures that gives you a negative feeling that upsets you, that does not allow you to do things on your own. Hmm. Hmm. You are the boss, and so what? <laughs> if you are the boss, everybody should rather feel free around you. Sure. You understand? Mm -hmm. People shouldn't, your subordinates shouldn't feel quelled in mm -hmm. when you are around. You understand? Yeah. Because there are things that your subordinates know <laughs> and hear and can see yeah. that you, the boss, you may, ha you may have no idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. You put on that moron face, that serious face, you are like, <laughs> touch not, talk not, see, no, 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 no. So one of these days, you may be making some decisions that will not go well, Wait. and they will still be looking at you. Sure. It's true. You understand? Yeah. If, if, if you're a father and you have a toxic behavior, mm. I'm telling you, <laughs> you, you, you ruin your home. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. You get home and everybody is inside. Yeah pretend to be nice people. yeah other times too you know daddy gets home and will not talk to anybody mm -hmm. and because he is quiet everybody must be quiet mm. Mm. you know and toxic people just when they are angry and they switch off mm -hmm. everybody must also switch off you understand? Yeah. So, 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 so it's difficult. It's difficult living with such people. Such people. Mm. So th there's this comment from um, Ahusi. He says, "I hate manipulation. It's so annoying." I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. And then from uh, Luca Morgan, he said, mm. "Saying no is something I'm still trying to master." Mm. Some of these things that that some people would some strong characters that they are always right you are wrong mm -hmm. always right you are wrong mm -hmm. and so you see you need to be very bold mm -hmm. you need to be confident about yourself mm -hmm. when you need to say no say no mm -hmm. <laughs> you understand sure. there was a time i was teaching and I got to this um, subtopic I named God's No. Okay. God's No. Okay. <laughs> and you know, people think all the time God is the yes, 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 yes type. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He has given us also the ability to say no. No. If it is wrong, it is wrong. And be bold to say no. You understand? Yeah. People, people think God is up there and all the time, whatever we say is that like, yes, 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 yes. So mo mostly God answers our prayer and we think he's not answered our prayer because it did not go the way we, we, we felt it should uh, go. And that is God's no. Mm. He says no. You don't need it. The same way he has given us that ability. So um, my friend who, 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 who texted that he finds it difficult to say no, from this time, from this time onwards, I want to encourage you, look into the mirror and say to yourself, I'm going to say no, no. to this person. <laughs> you understand? Sure. At this meeting, when if it goes this way my answer will be no mm. 
You understand? Yeah. When I meet this person and I say this and she says that and this and that, my <laughs> answer will be no and stick to your no. Mm. Or else people will just walk through you, people will just take advantage, take advantage. of you. Because they know, or oh, as for this person, she can't reject. She is, she is soft. She is soft. He is soft. <laughs> yeah. 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 See, no is a good answer. Sure. Because mm. it makes you better. Mm. Okay. Yes, it makes you better. It makes you stand out. People will say, oh, you are not nice, you are not good, you are not nice, you are not good. Sorry. <laughs> but immediately you identify that this person's attitude is always having a negative effect on me. Stand up. Speak mm. up. Okay. No. Or else you can't do anything for yourself. Okay. If your wife and your husband's attitude is always you know, affecting you negatively. It's not allowing you to concentrate on yourself. Concentrate on your on, on, on your on your self-esteem. It is time you look into your husband's face and say no. It's not bad saying no. If you really know what you stand for. People with toxic attitude will want to break your principles. Mm -hmm. If you don't have principles, you don't have values in life, everybody will just... So you have principles, you have values, toxic people want to just manipulate. Oh, <laughs> look into their face and say, no. Mm. Mm. So, we want to see how to cope with them okay. because we can't cut them away we can't cut them mm. we can't cut them so what do we do one set boundaries okay now you've identified them as man manipulative you've identified them as controlling you've identified them as people who always have negative impression make you make makes you have a negative impression about yourself so. You don't have confidence in yourself. Mm. Set boundaries. Mm. boundaries. When you are prepared to deal with persons with toxic behavior, you need to know where to draw the line. And let them know where the line ends. Mm. The far they can go with you. Mm. Hmm. And stand up for it. I'm, I'm serious about this. Mm. Because you need to have a purpose for your life. Sure. You need to have plans for your life. Sure. You need to wake up and have schedules. You don't just allow people to throw you about because you are a cleaner at that company. Mm. Oh, set boundaries. Mm. You are in as a cleaner. You are not in as a messenger. Sure. So you don't allow people in court to manipulate you. I heard someone say, if you don't stand for something, you fall for everything. Oh, you fall for everything. <laughs> you, you understand? Yeah. So people look at your pedig pedigree mm. in the company or at the workplace or in the environment or in the family and they begin to toss you around. <laughs> because you have no purpose. You are a cleaner. Your company pays you. You know how to manage your salary. 
So you don't live at their mercies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. There are people who will use you and add to your life. Mm -hmm. Identify them. Okay. Know them. At that company, they want you are a cleaner. They want they call you. They want to send you here, send you there, send you here, send you there, and yet they are asking you. So, what are you going to do with your life after here? Mm -hmm. You can't continue cleaning. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. How do you go about your salary? Mm -hmm. You know, these are people who are thinking about, about you. you. The fact that they are sending you go and buy beans for me, go and buy, uh, go and buy, yeah. Go and get, go, go and get my children from school. Go and do this. Meanwhile, you are there to clean. Mm -hmm. The time to sit and relax a while. That's the time they want to use you, and and yet they are interested in your growth. They are interested in your progress. These are people we are talking about. You understand? But people who will use you and will not want to add any mm -hmm. value to you know that they are toxic. Exactly. So mostly, draw the boundaries. And mostly they use you when, when, when your superiors need you. The time they need you, they would have sent you. I'm telling you. And they wouldn't even be available to defend you. No, 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 no. Then the, the work you're supposed to do they don't get the best out of you and later they'll have to lay, you lay off. off and that is sad mm. you understand yeah. there, are, there are people who work in companies from low you know pedigree then by reason of service mm. by reason of service because they are serving the right people mm -hmm. Because the right people, they, they are around the right, right people, mm -hmm. they also rise. Sure. So I am saying that toxic people will not add to your life. Sure. They will only manipulate, control, make you, make you have bad feeling about yourself. Mm -hmm. So you identify them. Set boundaries. Let them know the far they can go with you and the far you can also go with them. Draw the line. Number two, you have identified them. You know how you feel when you're around them. Now, talk to them about it. Okay. Talk to them about it. Okay. There are people who, 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 who manipulate, who control you and they don't know. They are not aware what they are doing. They are not aware how they are, they, 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 their behavior is negatively affecting you. Okay. In fact, talk to them. Make them aware how you feel anytime they reject your offer. Let them know how you feel. Anytime you make a submission and they, 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 they have to undermine it at the meeting. Okay. Hmm. You understand? Talk to your husband. Talk to your wife. Let them know how you feel. Very important. Boss, talk to your subordinates. <laughs> there are subordinates who manipulate their bosses. Yeah. They have a, a, a kind of attitude that their boss is always careful relating with them. Sure. They have a character that their boss is always careful, mm -hmm. always mindful about his or her words. Anytime they are around, boss feels like walking on eggshell. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Talk to them. Okay. Have a sincere conversation with them. Heart to heart conversation with them. And that, that was that's what I call be assertive. Have a sincere talk. 
So coping with toxic persons mm. or toxic people. Mm. One, set boundaries. Set boundaries. Two, talk with them. Mm. Be assertive about it. Be assertive about it. Then the last one. limit the time you spend with them limit the time you spend with them because you spend all the time with them they feel important okay they feel superior over you okay so it is about time you let them know you want to do other things with your life You understand? Yeah. Let them know it is time for you to go and read. Read. Buy, buy motivational books. And add some value to your Add some, some, you know, at least let them see you also doing something with your life. Mm. Tell them it is time for you to go for that classes. Sure. Uh, you, you understand what I'm talking about? Yeah. Let them know you, you, you also have some purpose, some plans for yourself. Mm. So limit the time you spend mm. around them. Mm. Hmm. Great. You know, they, they are so manipulative that they will keep asking you one question to the other mm -hmm. and then engage you in conversations that at the end of the day will add no value to you. Exactly. So because you look like like a, a, a bookworm and you know everything, they want to ask you all the, all questions, the questions and then you stand there and you answer all the questions, you engage them in all the conversation. Meanwhile, after this time, they are going to do something else. Exactly. After draining all the After energy draining out of all, you. yes. You, you, you see such people. Yeah. And they are always around us. Mm. Always. They know what you do not know. <laughs> and instead of teaching you to also know, they will never no, teach no, you. No, 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 they won't teach when you. When even intentionally ask, they will never teach you. No. So you follow them, John, 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 from one shop to the other. They go and buy what, what they want, and you are just following. You are just following. And by the time you realize, the whole day goes, and you've done nothing. Sure. They will call you on phone. <laughs> Charlie, can you meet me here? Can we go here? After they have closed from work, and have taken their bonuses and allowances. Mm. You are there, mm. idle, and they call you. Charlie, let's let's go here. Let's go and meet this friend of mine. Let's. Go. And you get there, and mm. because of the language they use, mm -hmm. they go and meet a business partner. And they, 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 they engage in a conversation and use terminolo terminologies that you don't understand. You don't understand. So you are there odd. You are wasting your time. Oh my word. Know that you are being manipulated. Your oh time God. is going. Oh you, you, and and you, you, you do nothing with your life. So true. You, you know, that there are times I, I've seen um, an interesting comment. That is why I'm... <laughs> Someone said, look, look at Morgan, mm. although we come to comments, but look at Morgan said, mostly some church leaders take advantage of some good members and it hurts. Mm. Yes, yes, and yes. It hurts. You know, um, I get worried and it's worrying yeah. when church leaders hide behind spirituality mm. and use members to their own benefit in the name of loyalty. You understand? Yeah. In the name of loyalty, 
they use spirituality, they use religion to manipulate people. If your pastor is toxic, I think from 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 our discussion, you you get to it. And if you if, to if you the pastor you are toxic from this discussion, <laughs> you should know. Sure. You should know. Yeah. Ask yourself. How much value have I added to the instrumentalists? Mm. How much value have I added to the ushers? How much value have I added to the prayer warriors? Mm. You understand? Hmm. And, and if you're a boss in any corporate institution, ask yourself, after all these years, my, my subordinates are, all, are, are just holding diploma certificate SHS JHS does it mean the work can't add any value to them and you are just using them you are toxic they are working they are actually working in a to in a toxic environment I don't know, I don't know, but but it's true, it's yeah. true, it's true, yeah. it's true. So draw boundaries. Mm. All right. Talk to them. About it. Limit the time you spend with them. Hmm. Okay. So it's, it's, it's interesting and it's getting interesting, but then our time is up, but <laughs> uh, dealing with toxic people. If we mean to go on and on, there are so many things we can say and so many things we can discuss, but then we have only 30 minutes to spend here and our time is up, but then, uh, Councillor, I want you to wrap up so that we pick some of the comments and close for today. All right, so I want to say that um, all human beings are created to be nice. Mm. In fact, we are all created nice. We have nice characters inside us. But it is the environment that now determines or brings out the real mm. character inside. So we have to be careful and mindful. If you're a Christian, let your Bible guide you. Okay. If you're a Muslim, let your Quran guide you. Okay. If you're a traditionalist, let it guide you. Mm. Because I don't think if you're a, tra a traditionalist, <laughs> the, your, your norms will teach you to abuse people. Mm. You understand? Sure. So let us all check ourselves. Mm. Am I being abusive? What kind of personality do I carry around? What, what, what perception do people have about me? Mm. So that at least, at least, we can live that peaceable life mm. among ourselves sure. and not take adva unnecessary advantage people. over others. Mm. And when we do this, I believe um, we'll have a better world to live in. All right, uh, so this is still time with the counselor. So we're having a good time with counselor Tony, and today we spoke on how you can deal with toxic people.